almost forgot. Do you have your assignment in calculus? What assignment? It's it's about finding volume using this method and washing oh. spirit. Our homework is about finding the volume using this method and washers method, but I don't know how to answer it. Do you know how to do it? I don't know how to do it too. Then maybe we should watch some tutorial and, and videos on YouTube, right? Yes, yes, let's do it. Let's go. Here's the video. Oh, let's go. Let's watch it. Hi. Hi. Today we are going to talk about integration. More specifically, about using definite integration in computing the volume of a solid revolution. In this video, the topic is about volumes of solid of revolution. What is a solid revolution? It is formed by revolving a plane figure, a plane region about a line. If you look at our figure here, imagine this is a Cartesian plane. This is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. Of course, the origin is at the middle. In, in the figure, the, the plane region form is a triangle. Once we use the, this plane region and re revolve it around the, a particular axis, it will form a cone. The line is called the axis of revolution. The axis of revolution could be the x-axis, or the y-axis, or even any line in the Cartesian plane. For example, y equals to 4. It is where the graph is going to revolve to get the volume. These solids, such as axles, panels, pills, bottles, pistons, are used commonly in engineering and manufacturing. In our previous lesson, we used a uh, definite integral in getting the area under a curve. But this time, we are going to use the area, the formula for area, to get the volume of a, of a under a curve or the intersection of a two curves. That's right. So, good morning, and I'm going to discuss the DISC method, and the DISC method is um, a method of getting the volume of a disk by using uh, this formula and it is defined as um, to, the, to develop a formula for finding the volume of a solid of revolution consider a continuous function f that is non-negative on the interval a to b and the volume of the solid formed by the revolving region bounded by the graph of f and the axis a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b about the axis is Denoted by the formula, volume is equal to pi integral of um, from a to b f of x squared dx. So, I can explain this using this graph. And as, um, if, as we can see, if we try to imagine and rotate this, um, this curve, it will form a disk. And <coughs> um, our um, goal here is to get the volume. So... Um, by using this formula, f of x squared dx, we use dx because the disk is rotating on the x-axis. If if this, for example, rotating um, like um, this one, or it will form the disk like this. So we will use dy. But in this case, it is rotating on the x-axis, so we will use dx. So that's how we get the volume using the disk method by just applying this formula. So here is Maynard to um, give us some example of the disk method. Go. Oh. Here we are on the first example. Find the volume of the solid form by revolving the region bounded by the graph of f of x is equal to negative x squared plus x and the axis about the x axis. When you say about the x axis, the axis of revolution revolves around the x-axis. If this graph revolves within the x-axis, it would be then reflected in here. To find the bounds of the graph, we would equate the two equations that had been set in here. The first equation is y equals negative x squared plus x 
the first equation is y equals negative x squared plus x. Then the second equation is y equals 0. You can see the y equals 0 in here, in this part. It is bounded by the graph of the negative x squared plus x and the y equals 0. So the area, the volume we're, that we're finding is within this region. Equating both y's, we obtain 0 equals negative x squared plus x. Transposing it to the other side, so the higher degree would be then positive. So it is x squared minus x equals 0. Factoring the x's, we get x minus 1. If we uh, cross multiply this in this part, we obtain the first bounce, which is x equals 0. Then, if we look in the parentheses, the, the, the other bound is the positive 1. So now we have the 0 and 1. Now we can integrate the, the graph. From 0 to 1, our function is negative x squared plus x. According to the formula, we should add, we should multiply pi in here. And this is on squared because according to the formula, the volume is equals to pi r squared. Now this is our region. Now dx. dx. Now, squaring the function, we obtain x to the fourth minus two uh, x cubed, then plus x to the x squared dx. With bounds at zero to one. Um, integrating these values, we get x to the fifth over pi minus two over x to the fourth over four plus x cubed over three. Then from zero to one, we can cancel this out one and two. Then substituting the values, we have one to the fifth pi minus uh, 1 to the 4th, 2 times, um, it's only 2, plus 1 cubed over 3. Then, it equals to 1 fifth minus 1 half plus 1 third. If we compute for this, we get the value of 1 over 30 multiplied by pi or pi pi over 30 and that is the total volume that we obtain in this region and now let us discuss the other method which is what we call as the washer method the washer is formed by revolving a rectangle about an axis let let me just explain this further the washer is actually a piece of metal that's that looks like a ring with the radius of the outer is greater than the radius of the inner circle. So this method is basically finding the, the volume based on that figure. The washer, the, the washer on, this, on this figure on my left is basically this figure rotated around an axis. For example, if we use this one, this one as an axis, if we rotate that one, the washer will will be form is the the three D washer. So we can calculate the the volume of that certain washer. If g of x and f of x are the inner and outer radian, this is what I was um, explaining and uh, what I said a while ago. If g of x and f of x are the inner and outer radian of the washer and W is the width of the washer, the volume of the washer is given by V is equal to pi f of x squared minus pi g of x squared times W. Okay, this equation, as what we all know, the volume is equal to base times height. 
Now this this whole thing here is what is representing the base. The base of a washer is obviously a circle with two different circles, the uh, area of a circles in 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 a plane. So as what as what we know, the area of a circle is pi r squared, right? If f of x is what determines the if f of x is what determines the radius of this certain washer, then it it shall be the radius represented. It shall be the radius substituted in this equation minus the inner one, which is this one. The radius is smaller, obviously, because that's the inner cir circle of the washer times the height. This is the thickness of the washer. If you look at this, uh, the washer uh, on on the side, you can define the width or the height of the washer as the W. So basically, this is volume is equal to base times height. Now, let us discuss this one. Let, uh, let please take note first that we always should be letting the function and always it should be continuous and non-negative on a certain closed interval of a and b just like this one the volume of this area i mean the, the, this area should be always be non-negative because there is no such thing as negative area am i right so if, if g of x is less than or equal to f of x for all x in the interval then the volume of the solid form by revolving the region bounded by the graphs of f and g of this 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 is the bound about the x axis is defined by this formula okay now let me let me just elaborate this one these equations here are basically the same only that this equation the radius of f of x, I mean the f of x is what the radius, and g of x, those radius uh, differs from point A, from point A, the first bound, to point B. As what, show, as what is shown in this figure, on f of x, the, the value of x here is different from the value of x here. Therefore, the radius of that certain washer is changing through the function of f of x. That's why we have to integrate that one from the bound A to B minus D, the radius, the changing radius of the inner circle, which, cha which, is, which is changing by G of x from point A to point B. Now this A and B, these are the intersection of those two curves. This is basically what, as what we mentioned earlier, before we have calculate the volume, we have to find first the intersection between these two curves or these two functions. Now these two function represents the radius uh, around the, the point or within the point interval A and B. We have to, uh, integrate that because this area the area between the these two functions are changing am I right so if it is changing it's not constant then then we have to integrate and we have to find the formula that will define the area of these two curves at a given point so this is basically the formula we have to use for the washer method. Okay, so now let's proceed for the example of the washer method. So given by the problem, find the volume of the solid form by revolving the region bound by the graphs. f of x is equal to square root of 25 minus x squared and g of x is equal to 3. So first let us first uh, draw the graph so we can easy, easily visualize how the uh, graph looks like. So first, this curve is the square root of 25 minus x squared. And 
this line here is the g of x is equals to 3. So we can see here that the top curve is the uh, f, of x is, f of x is equals to square root minus 25x squared. And the lower curve is the g of x is equals to 3. So we can visualize that the area here is the only uh, region that we're going to get. And to know these bounds, this intersection, we have to equate the uh, both equations. So square root of 25 minus x squared is equals to 3. And getting the square of both equations cancels out the square root. So 25 minus x squared is equals to 9. Then transferring uh, 25 to the other side, giving us 9 minus 25 is equals to negative 16. And we have to uh, divide both equations by uh, negative 1 to cancel out the negative from the x squared, giving us x squared is equals to 16. And by getting its square root, we have the uh, the roots of the x, which is equals to x is equals to 4, and x is equals to negative 4. So therefore, these intersections, this will be the bound of the graphs or the area that we want to get over here. So from 4 here, this intersection right over here, and intersection right over here. So these are the intersections of the graph. Now we know this the area. We need we will you will be using the washer method to find the volume represented by this area given by the graph square root of 25 minus x squared and g of x is equals to 3. So we all know that the, that the washer method formula is equals to pi multiplied by the integration of the f of x squared minus g of x squared. So our f of x squared here is greater than g of x. So f of x is equals to square root of 25 minus x squared. Getting its uh, squared, it will be canceled out, getting us 25 minus x squared. And getting the square of 3 is equals to 9. So bounded by the graphs, uh, by the, bounded by the points negative 4 to 4. And solving for this equation, 25 minus 9 giving us positive 16 and leaving us with negative x squared plus 16. And now we can get the integration, the definite integral of this equation. So this equation, negative x squared will be equal to x cubed over 3. Take note of the negative sign. And 16 will be 16x. So bounded by the, the points negative 4 to 4. And substituting these values to this uh, equation that we get so we will be having 256 over 3 pi so that's how you get how you solve the washer method by even by the problem the volume of solid revolution is an application of an area under the curve we use a strip to represent the volume of a curve by using the general formula for the volume wherein we always multiply the base and the height. Since it is a circular disk, the base is a circle with an area pi r squared. The height, on the other hand, depends on the axis of revolution, whether it's on the x or y axis. We introduce two methods. The first one is the disk method, wherein we directly get the integration of the given graph using the formula integral of pi f of x squared dx. On the other hand, we have the washer method. We are given two curves in which we subtract the outer radius or the higher curve if it's on the x-axis and the right curve if it's on the y. So the inner radius or the lower curve on the x-axis and the left curve on the y-axis. Given by the formula integral of pi f of x squared minus g of x squared dx. And here are some important keynotes. We should try to first graph the curves for easy visualization. And then we should identify which method is the perfect fit to use in solving a certain volume. And that's it guys. I hope you learned a lot in this video. And I hope that this video helped you a lot in solving volume of solid revolution. Thank you. Oh, that's how it goes. So maybe we should... Answer this homework, maybe it would be easy for us. Yes, let's try to solve it. So, what are we going to solve? Use the disk method. So, first we need to graph this this uh, equation. And then we're going to determine the boundaries. So, let's go. 
y equals 2x squared times 0x equals 0. And there we go, we answered all the questions in our assignment. Yes. Also, let's go. We still have our next class. Let's go.